In this short video, I plan to look at task two of the Association Accounting Technicians Bookkeeping Controls Assessment. And it's all to do with payroll and working out the monthly payroll for a business. So in the example we've got here, we've got Russell Hardware. We can see it plays its employees by check every month and it maintains the wages control account. And we're asked to do the journal entries needed in the general ledger. So it obviously you need a good understanding of what gross wages are, what employees national insurance is, what income tax is, what the employees pension contribution will be. And you should have done this in your studies. So the first thing we have to do is record the wages expense. Now this is the total wages bill to the company in this case for the month so what we have to do is look at our gross wages which is the total amount the employees have been paid for the month and then we've got to add anything else on top of that that the employer has to pay so in this case the only extra thing the employer has to pay is the employers national insurance contribution the 809 pounds so what we've got to do is add our gross wages, the £7,450, to the £809, the employer's national insurance contribution, and that will give us £8,259. So I can put that into the amount column here, and it's the same for each because obviously we're doing double entry. Now all I have to do is consider what accounts I need. Well, to record the wages expense, I need the wages expense account. So the clue is in the task there. The other side of the double entry goes into the wages control. So now all we have to do is figure out which side debit or credit each of these goes so we've got a 50 50 chance but if we think back to our previous studies the wages expense okay an expense account we would expect to be on the debit side wouldn't we okay dead click so i'm going to put a, a cross in this case because i haven't got a tick available on my uh, on the word here and and then i'm going to credit the wages control and thinking back to your studies, remember the credit side of the wages control is the total wages bill for the company. The left hand side, the debit side, is the breakdown of how that wages is made or that wages expense is made up. So that gives us a clue there that we've got it right. The next thing we have to do is record the HMRC and customs liability. So how much we owe Her Majesty's revenue and customs. So this time what we have to do is go down and look at what we've got. So it's all the taxes. So we've got our employees national insurance the £682. We've got income tax £1,204. And we've got the employers national insurance £809. So if I add those three together I come up with or should come up with £2,695. And again, that goes into both boxes, 2695. Then I've got to figure out which accounts I need. Well, if you remember, I just said the right hand side of the wages expense, sorry, the wages control account is the total wages bill. The left hand side is how it's broken down. So the first account we need is the wages control. And we're going to debit that. The second account we need, again, the clue is in the question, it's the HMRC liability. Because we're working out how much we owe them. We're not actually paying them. So I create that account. It's a liability. The part C here asks me to record the net wages paid to the employee. Ease. So we're paying our employees now. So what I need to do is 
debit or wages expense. Sorry, I got that wrong. Wages control account. And in this case, I'm going to credit the bank. So we've just got to figure out now how much we owe our employees. So we take our gross wages and then we take everything out of it that the employee has to pay. So we take our £7,450 and we deduct our employee's national insurance contribution, the £682. We then take off the income tax, the £1,204. We then take out as well the employee's pension contribution, the £90. So once we've taken all those away, that should give us £5,474. So I'm going to debit the wages control again, and I'm going to credit the bank. Because again, this time, as I say, we are paying our employees. The final thing we have to do is work out how much we owe our pensions administrator. So again, I'm going to debit the wages control. Oops, I put that in the wrong place there. Let me get that right. So I'm going to, well, I need the wages control. And the pension liability accounts so again the clue is in the name of the account pension liability I am going to credit that and I'm going to debit the wages control and just looking up there there is only 90 pounds taken out of the employees wages for the month so 90 pounds goes into each of those columns I hope that has helped with task two. It's a fairly straightforward task, but it's just one that you need to practice, practice and keep practicing.